I mean, the format's not solved yet, right? <laughs> right. I mean, maybe this is the, the answer, the solution. And Andy Gray is going to be on the other side. He's been playing for years and years and years. He's been helping out on the stream, uh, trying to get us prepared, helping us do our job as best as possible. Very cool to see an opportunity where he gets to grace us with his presence on the stream once more. He's going to be playing that Gardevoir deck. And his comments on his deck list, hi, Kyle. <laughs> How did he know? How did he know? Yeah. <laughs> well played. Specifically, you in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he, he called his round. <laughs> he knew it was going to be me. Justin's uh, calling the 9 0. Andy called the going on stream with Kyle's commentating. An absolute flex. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to be very excited to see both these players. David has a lot of tricks, <laughs> a lot of cool cards in this deck, and I'm excited to see. Not only how it plays, but what, how do you even get all these Pokemon on the board? <laughs> Usually with items and different supporter cards, and you can use abilities to draw cards. I need to watch Chip's video once more. It was a great video. Oh, shout out to Chip. Looks like both players have their starting Pokemon for the game. Now we can eventually see their prize cards. and Hopefully it's not too bad for both players. Love to see a good game. Now, Gardevoir versus Origin Form, Palkia V-Star, Ice Rider, Calyrex V-Max. What, what? Explain the matchup to me, guys. <laughs> Explain the matchup. Yeah, um, so I've tested this thoroughly. <laughs> well, uh, let's at least think about it for a second. Um, Starmie V could be yeah. very cool. This was a tech inclusion that we saw a lot against Arceus builds early on. It was a way to surprise your opponent when they played down too many energies. You know what plays too many energies? Gardevoir EX. So every once in a while, maybe you, uh, you catch them playing too many cards down. You can surprise them with a big one-hit knockout. I swear to Calyrex, VMAX can knock out a lot of cards. I'm not usually going to be taking down that Gardevoir EX, though. Well, it looks like our players are ready to get things going. Here's the prize card. So Ralts so far for Andy. Ooh, gonna be down that Radiant for Ninja. That's on big. David's side. With the Radiant Pokemon, you're only allowed to play one in your deck, so when it's in the prize cards, you kind of get a little bit sad going to look through the list. Uh, there is the one Hisuian Heavy Ball, so we'll have an option for that. There's a Flannery in here, man. <laughs> is, is that what you were trying to look up? Yeah, yeah I'm like, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe that's the. Uh, the solver for, for the for the whole format there. It's tech in the Flannery. Doesn't it just discard like a special energy or yeah, a and stadium? It goes for the stadium, yeah. Yeah. Well, Could either be way, a good we are way. underway. Andy is going first, starts that Mew from Celebrations, has that mysterious tail ability, can help you find an item from the top six cards of your deck. Which one do you want? Battle VIP pass would be a pretty great one. So one in the prize card, so you get a level ball. That's half of one. Guess we'll take that when you have the Ultra Ball to go along with it. It can lead to at least two Ralts here. Are you sure this is Gardevoir? Because most of the time when I see Gardevoir being played, my opponent gets four Ralts <laughs> on the bench turn one, and then like three Curlia. Not everybody could be Henry, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I watch him play, it is just flooded with Ralts. <laughs> Now Andy does eye down one of those a basic Pokemon for your namesake card of the deck. Does have an Ultra Ball in hand to go along with it, but other than that, that's pretty much it. There's a Luminion V. You can use Luminous Sign to search for a supporter for next turn. But you can't play supporters going first. Yep, it's nice to see that Zacian V. I'm going to be able to get that additional energy in play, maybe threaten some relevant damage uh, throughout uh, the early stages of this game, but it is not the greatest hand. At least the Luminion could help out later. And he does have an Ultra Ball. Discards two Psychic Energy. It's not quite double Archaeops and Alugia, Ooh. but discarding two Psychic is pretty good. He's thinking about getting risky. Yeah, I like I like the Relts a lot more. Of course, there is that energy there. And the, the, the Radiant Greninja could lead to uh, some nice cards found. Maybe that battle via P-Pass, but... I kind of want to have Curlia next turn. <laughs> <laughs> you, you take the mystery box, or you can get the reading Greninja. It could <laughs> or even, get the Ralts. It could even be a Ralts. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and there is an attachment and a roar of the sword, getting another psychic energy from the deck, and charge up that same Ralt, most likely. Never mind, Zashian. Yeah, there was merit to even getting the energy on the active. You're not usually going to get knocked out when you see a uh, origin form Palkia in the active. It could lead to some retreating and having that energy in the discard pile later on, but that's the card we're looking for. <laughs> David going to start things off with the battle VIP pass. I'm looking through the list because, yep, that's just the one of copy, Kyle. No I way. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> We can't even cut the Flannery. <laughs> now, we used to see Palkia decks play just one Battle VIP pass because the main supporter card is going to be Irida, being able to search for an item and a water Pokemon. So you essentially have five Battle VIP passes if you do that, but less risk of just drawing it later on in the game. Yep. One of the advantages of going second, of course, is you can have access to finding that card with uh, that Irida. But don't need it. And sure enough, it's going to lead to finding some Pokemon early on. And I mean, this is this is the definition of a homebrew, man. There's two energy search in here. Let's go. <laughs> really missing Professor's Letter. <laughs> right. Well, uh, Capacious Bucket, probably. <laughs> uh, same thing. <laughs> uh, looks like we got a ripped sleeve. It's an interesting strategy for Mandy. <laughs> See if it pays off. Now with the Battle VIP Pass, David did find another Origin Form Palkia V and a B Doof. This deck is reliant on those industrious incisors from B Barrel trying to draw through after you use cards to thin your hand. Yeah, ultimately, it really is reliant on that Raiding Greninja, getting those early energies into the discard pile to potentially bring those back with the Palkia V Star. Get some early attacks rolling, but not going to have access to that. And... It, there is the one of Hisui and Heavy Ball. Maybe if there is a card like that Irida, you could search that out and start to use that Pokemon. So we'll see what's going on in the rest of the hand. It was a lot of shiny cards, but that doesn't help me. Andy breaking two sleeves with that shuffle. That's, <laughs> that's just disrespectful. <laughs> He's been going to the gym, though. Really? <laughs> Poked Jim. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, there we go. At least we get to play Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll Two just sleeves. stick to cutting at this point. <laughs> Two sleeves down, 58 more to go. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. No! Rule the region. And no supporter from David here is going to go ahead and grab that <laughs> lost city, which is a good card against this Gardevoir deck, but... Do we do we need it's, to go back to the win rate of this attack? <laughs> well, it's it's not zero percent anymore because I've seen a few wins after someone goes rule the region, but mm, maybe, it's, maybe it's rough. Maybe three percent. Three percent is that what we're going with? <laughs> it's not good. Of course, always do it. You need to get that card thinned out of the deck. Maybe it'll lead to some solid resources found later on. Yeah, don't wait a turn and then do it the next turn. <laughs> that would be so bad. <laughs> like no one would do that on stream, right? Uh, That's Professor's Sad. research off that luminous sign will grab Andy seven brand new cards here. Has one Curlia already, but oh, there's a Ooh. level ball that can find another one. Yeah, and if you're going to find that, you'd love to have it in combination with the energies. I see two psychic energy along with that fog crystal too, so could be discarding a lot of these with refinement, which leads to some solid attacks lined up next turn. Gardevoir and Zacian found. Those are cards you don't really need. At least not at this juncture of the turn here. Yeah, there is always the world where you find rare candy, Gardevoir EX, and go crazy, but usually going to be eyeing up the turn three attack. You can even target potentially knocking out Pokemon if you get enough psychic energies uh, into Yeah, the battle pile. pass! <laughs> can't grab that four <laughs> seal yeah, stone. That one you can't grab. I'm sorry. Yeah, with the Scarlet and Violet base set, it did errata all Pokemon tool cards. They're no longer items. They're just considered trainer tools. So with cards like Mew that only grab an item card, you cannot fetch that. And that's been really big in a lot of decks. Mew with Cram-O-Matic, here with Mew. <laughs> Mew everywhere, basically. Well, Andy explaining that. <laughs> 
Yeah, at, least this he, is... at least he got a discard, you know, battle pass. Yep. I always run into a situation here of I really like throwing away psychic energies, but every time I see a battle VIP pass, I just want to throw it away. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't I don't blame you. I, I don't know. I checked the trash can. Those those ones are a little bit expensive. That's the <laughs> Jeez. Well, we find the Gardevoir EX and held on to that fog crystal. So this means you can go ahead and find that routes. It's gonna be Probably triple guardy next turn. David is staring down a monster. A Goliath, perhaps, if you will. I, I'd give you Goliath for Gardevoir, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, the fly is back. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a roar of the sword yet again for Andy. Going to charge up the Zacian V, most likely. Get an extra energy on there without having to damage it further later on. Yep, that can certainly be beneficial. And, uh, but he has the Shining Arcana in hand, too. That's, that's also pretty good. Can lead to potentially reaching for 270, 300 on this Pokemon that typically would not be able to reach those numbers just because of the amount of hit points it has. You can only attach six of those energies from the discard pile. Well... David had a judge there, so he's going to judge and pray. Usually we see Path Judge. This is Lost City Judge. He still needs to find the Palkia V-Star to just attack this turn. Yep. There's a lot of good cards that could be found here. Any Ultra Ball really opens up a lot of avenues. Beaver will be fantastic. Use those Industrious Incisors to help out. Now, if you have the Ultra Ball, do you grab the Palkia or do you grab the V-Barrel? Grab the V-Barrel. And just hope. I need a, I need a lot of a lot to go right here. You're staring down an opponent that's set up a little bit of everything. So I uh, I like I like doing a little doing a little more risk there. But here we're gonna see one card and Palkia V Star and a dream. But if this Pokemon's <laughs> knocked out, what do you do? Uh, go to game two. It's most likely. It depends on that last card in hand. It could be, you know, a pretty good card. I mean, but you still don't have any Pokemon ready to go. You're just going oh, no, to have all. a Palkia on the bench. Yeah. You're hoping for another Palkia V-Star. Um. All right. Well, this is certainly the big turn here for Andy. Been charging up that Curlia. He's already found another Curlia and a level ball, so could do a little more thinning. Probably clean up the board a little bit with those coins as well. Good call. First refinement discards that psychic energy. I think there's four, five now in wow. the discard. Yeah, finds not only that, but a fog crystal and another psychic energy to go along with it. Still missing, missing some evolutions, but do a little more thinning here. Has two refinements and a potential supporter to help out. And Manaphy is a card that you usually should be worried about from your opponent that's playing water energies, but we know that Radiant Greninja has still just been stuck in the prize cards. No Irida found for David this game yet and has not had access to that powerful Pokemon. Fog Crystal will find another Psychic Energy for Andy here, and it's looking like a pretty good start here from this Gardevoir. See what else can be found there. Looks like the worker is also there too, so could remove the lost city. Temple of Sinnoh. That helps too. Found a boss's orders to go along with it, but if you have enough energies, you want to take the knockout on this active. That is the main thing David has. But if you don't have enough, I like taking the knockout on the, the Bidu. Wow. Radiant Greninja found that is another. Psychic energy to the discard pile. Just need just eight <laughs> energies on this Pokemon to get the job done, but we still have not seen Shining Arcana. It did get judged away, so still hasn't found it. Can retreat here, and I think there's plenty for that Zacian B to take the knockout. Yep, just can. Try to line up the guarantee there. There are eight energies, and there's already the energy on this Pokemon to start things off. So go ahead and get it charged up. 
that, that one card that David had better be good, <laughs> along with that prize card as well. Well, I got bad news oh, no. for <laughs> David fans. The, the prize card was a B-Doof. No. So uh, Ultra Ball off, to, off the top. All right, that was a little aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> energy for the turn on the Curlia. Andy, just making sure you don't need it, but plenty of energy to work with here. Wow, and wow. all different arts. Yeah. There's 10 Psychic Energies that we've seen already with the eight on this Pokemon, one in play on the Curlia and one in the discard pile. It is turn three. You love to see it for those Gardevoir fans Good out there. Good for you, Andy. <laughs> Looking a little sketchy there with just the double Ralts opener, but with David not having anything to really just push the advantage forward, Andy has taken over this game here. Yep, huge knockout there. What's the top deck for David? If we can't get anything done here, we're going to be in trouble. It's the Irida. That's actually pretty good. Irida can find the Palkia V-Star along with an Ultra Ball that can go grab that B-Barrel. Discard those two cards in hand. At least see brand new five. Yep, that's the one time you want both cards in your hand to be awful. Go ahead and discard those. Get those industrious incisors online to help out. And of course, you still have your V star that you can use for the turn. Get those energies into play. I'm going to have at least the knockout on the Zacian V lined up, but I certainly want a little more going on there on the board. There's that incisors for five. Really hoping for just another attacker. Yeah, that's that's all we're looking for. I don't think we saw it. No way to even discard another energy. And there's that star portal charging up that Palkia V-Star. And with subspace swell, we'll be able to take the knockout thanks to the heavy damaged Zacian V on Andy's side of thing along with that full bench. And that's certainly a price exchange that Andy is looking forward to. At this stage, with that energy attachment, not going to be fully reliant on an energy from Shining Arcana. Just an energy attachment for the turn would be able to help out in avoiding knocking out your own Pokemon, which is not possible. <laughs> going to start things off with Refinement. Does find that Shining Arcana Gardevoir now. Ooh, and there's the Psychic. That's so big. Of course, could accelerate few of those energies from the discard pile to help out. But you got to be careful when you're working with those hit points. Good cards. They're all right. <laughs> do you have a problem with Gardevoir? <laughs> do, do we need to talk about this? Well, yeah, there it is. The attachment for the turn means that with the help of the Gardevoir EX can get six additional energies played onto that Pokemon. When you have eight, and you're dealing 300 damage. That is a pretty good prize exchange. Now, Andy has a Roxanne here to use for the turn, but is looking to thin the hand down a little bit. Ultra Ball away, both of these rare candy. Just so you don't have to draw into them again. Let's see what is left. Going to be eyeing up one final attacker to potentially help close out in the final stages. This is the one beautiful thing about this deck. When you get to this point in the game, you have to deal with the threat. Yeah. <laughs> you, you cannot leave a Gardevoir that deals 300 damage on, uh, in play, and that means that the Zacian V will just take all those energies right back, say thank you very much, and I will find two prize cards. Now there is still a little bit of hope from David's side of things. Does play two copies of Pat to the Peak. Can shut off that uh, ability from Gardevoir EX. But Andy does have a Collapse Stadium in hand to go along with the four Seal Stones, so it would need to be in combination with some uh, Hand Disruption. Melanie is one option that I see to potentially get out of this pickle. As uh, even just dealing 20 damage could be a problem <laughs> this turn. We're looking for, uh, what, Pierce from <laughs> Ice Rider Calyrex V? I haven't played the cube in a minute, all right? Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an Irida. I think the Ice Rider's already in hand. If not, you can go fetch it out. We'd need to fetch a switch 
out, which there's one switch in the list to Escape Rope. Escape Rope would not do well right now. Okay. So that does line up, but this has to be in combination with the path to the peak. If you even want to have the potential to be hanging around with that Zacian V afterwards. You can find the Radiant Greninja to help you dig a little bit further. Looks like a slight hiccup there from Andy, not getting that for Sealstone down, unless that was the prize card taken. Not getting it down, but I, I think with the, the Irida here, you're giving up hope of that hand disruption, and Andy just has it in hand. Yeah. All right, and we will see that switch. Lines up for, is that 40 damage? Yep. Pretty good. It's all right. Good you're, enough. You're just not impressed today. It takes a lot to impress me, you know? <laughs> Clearly. It, it needs to be, like, a perfect Charizard drawing <laughs> to really impress me. Well, we have yet to see that. But we do have Pat to the peak. <laughs> and that is going to be pretty solid. Lines up this knockout on this Pokemon. Down to two prize cards. But Andy is completely okay with that. <laughs> All the energy is necessary to get the job done. Sashi and V going to be promoted. As soon as you counter that stadium, I think we're going to go to game two. Yep, and there we go. Collapse will bump that path to the peak, allow that psychic embrace from Gardevoir EX to charge up that Zacian V, take the knockout, and Annie going up 1-0 with just over 30 minutes left to go. I think he's earned it. <laughs> he's Hi, earned Andy. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smile. He uh, heard maybe you. he heard me. Yeah. Uh-oh, that's a problem, actually. <laughs> No, that's cool. It's uh, it, what an interesting matchup between these two decks. I don't think we saw the the best from David's strategy. Just missed what? a lot in that beginning. You're, you're saying missing a supporter on turn one, and then Judge turn two <laughs> <laughs> is is missing stuff. Well, can we just agree that uh, using the Palkia attack is down to two percent now? It, it is down to two percent. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, rule the region never uh, rules never, the region. <laughs> it's never what you want to do. Now, looking into game two, there is still enough time, but I mean, if the game ended up the way it did last time, I don't know if we're going to get to a game three. Yeah, uh, that was pretty dominant from Andy's side of things. There's not really too much stress to build up the Curlias. Continue to draw and get all of those resources into the hand there. And when you do find 10 Psychic Energies on turn three, you know you're not going to run into too many issues there. So on David, it's going to be a lot about that early pressure. Maybe get that Radiant Greninja into the mix. And maybe you can find an opportunity where Andy doesn't have the Mana Fee down. And then you can knock out these routes and really put the pressure on. Historically, against a deck like Origin Form Palkia V-Star, a way to kind of play around it is to just limit your bench, right. not have uh, that Close extra damage from subspace as well. Gardevoir is one of those decks where you don't really care because you're going to get knocked out anyway. As those prize cards are bad. Yep. Yep, that's what I'm looking at. Radiant Greninja just talked about it, but even on the other side there for Andy could certainly be a problem. It's a, it's a card that can help you out of some difficult spots in the early game, get the energies into the discard pile and continue to draw up, maybe find those Curlia when they can be potentially tricky to find. And I, mean, I think Andy's gonna need some help with the mulligans in this stage because this hand does not look very good. They got one. Well, it's just gonna be that one additional card then to help out. We'll How's the psychic energy? Does that help? Mm, not usually. Down it goes. Not too bad. We can work with those prize cards. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay, Kyle. It's okay. Luminion can attack. That's true. <laughs> I don't, but I don't want to. That is awful. No. no! Attach pass. <laughs> and Andy can hear me. <laughs> well... This is unfortunate. Level Ball <laughs> going to be starting things off on Andy's side of things. And uh, is going to be looking for some help from the Mew. Yeah, eyeing down that Mew, but it's going to get the bad news of just a ton of Pokemon in the prize cards. I think, I think a little bad news is okay, though. <laughs> Staring down a Luminion B with a Water Energy. Yeah, that's... Uh, 
Yo, what is that hand? That is tough. Boss's orders, pal pad, path to the peak. Um, all right. Could potentially just be looking at some counts at this stage. But I think you got all the news that you're looking for. Your opponent has a fish. <laughs> I think you get aggressive. Super odds on the format just yet, Kyle. But Now, Andy does have an energy, can retreat to this Mew and use that Mysterious Tail to try to find an extender for this turn. You know, Battle VIP pass, level ball, ultra ball, anything. Yep, honestly, could miss. Probably going to be just fine. Curlia in the hand. Some energies to discard. We'll see if we need a little more help here. Rare Candy Level Ball is going to be the card of choice so far. Fog Crystal as well. Do you, yep. do you get the Fog Crystal to get the Ralts to guarantee the potential for more Curlia, or do you just get the Level Ball, hold on to it, so you get two Curlia next turn? Yeah, I like using the Fog Crystal there and grabbing the Ralts, and then you have the Level Ball that you could potentially draw into, which could be another Curlia later on. Having the one Curlia, it's kind of like when, uh, when you're playing Zorark. I mean, they're basically the same Pokemon at this stage, but having three Zerua means you could probably draw a lot more cards than if you just limit yourself to two guaranteed Zorua. I'll make sure, I'll make, I'll make sure to consciously do seven. Um, and then Either way, we're going to see the consistent approach there. Curly in hand, Love Wall could potentially search that Pokemon out again. I, I like saving it. Ice Rider, Calyrex V off the top, so... All right, what's going on in there? We got an energy search. It's energy search. Do we attach to the Luminion? <laughs> Do we just pierce? Uh, I think we just pierce. I don't like any of these options. There's path to so the peak much in hand. Shiny stuff going on there. Yeah, just gonna try to try to attack your way out of this. Oh, we got a Melanie. There we go. That helps. Was just missing the energy in the discard to use that supporter. Nice. There we go. Found the nest ball to help out here. Could search out that Radiant Greninja. And that was the missing piece. As you have this Pokemon down now, you can always discard that energy, draw some additional cards. Find a Pokemon like Palkia, maybe you're threatening a solid attack next turn. Has that Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX in hand. And there we see the concealed cards. Ooh, wow. Another nest ball. That is the perfect draw for David right here. Yep. Chained together everything so perfectly. It's going to have that Palkia V. Could line up the star portal for the following turn. And uh, that is, that's what you're looking for when your opponent's probably going to go double Curlia. If your opponent doesn't find that Manaphy, they're not going to be protected and really do a lot of damage. Oh, 40 for the pierce there. And Andy draws into Penny. <laughs> that's that's not it. Going to refinement first, hoping to draw into maybe something like another Curlia, and does. So now you can use that level ball for Ralts here. Yep, solid sequencing there. Still has access to Mysterious Tail. At this stage, you start to worry. Haven't seen Manaphy just yet. There was the potential to search that Pokemon out now and just be extra safe, but also understand wanting to uh, get some additional routes down. It is the, the namesake of the deck, but now what? It's going to be... Now, now you find another level ball off with Mysterious, Mysterious Tail. Tail yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Obviously, that's how it's written up. Well, this is clearly where you find the Fog Crystal that you should have taken, and then you run into the real issue. Pure pain. <laughs> don't, no, don't, don't put no. that evil on me. Don't put that evil. <laughs> it happens. <Okay. laughs> uh. Yep. Going to be going back in with that fog crystal. Uh, well, if you can't have Manaphy, you might as well try to get as many Ralts in play as you can. We know one's in the prize cards. So this is going to find a Zacian V. You can end the turn with the Roar of the Sword. Yeah, this is dangerous territory to be in. David has not had a situation like this the entire match. 
could potentially really put Andy on the back foot with a solid turn here. But Andy's going to keep fighting. Uh, oh, trying no. Trying to skip steps and do the Mew Mysterious Tail once more. He pulled a chip. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> The curse continues. <laughs> so he pennied, wanted to attach retreat back into that Mewtie's mysterious tail yet again to try to find that Manaphy, but already had the Mew in hand, didn't play it back down, and retreated. So now you're going to have to bring up that Zacian V? Oh, this is bad. Bring up the Curlia? Your opponent already wants the Curlia, so I guess you could. Yeah, that's, that is unfortunate. Yeah, if you bring up the Zacian, that is an easy knockout with that Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. I mean, that was it was a good play. It, it, it lines up so well to be able to reuse that Pokemon, potentially find that Manaphy, and almost... Don't don't look at the top six, Andy. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to yourself. <laughs> it's going to be just the roar of the sword. And, uh, this is a huge turn. Like you said, this is the first time David's really felt like in control of this match so far. And we don't even know what's really in the hand. We know there's that VMAX, there's an energy, but that's all you really need. Yeah, energy search. Finishing off the other side of the capacious bucket. Some people look at the bucket half full. <laughs> some, some, some people look at it half empty. Excited. And uh, there is that concealed cards. Draw two cards for David here. Finds Lost City Choice Belt, it seems like. Uh, Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. Haven't seen that in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Honestly, Pokemon hasn't been missing with the, the art recently. Yeah. Going to have that boss's orders. Going to target down the Zacian V. Going to go very aggressive after the prize cards, it looks like. Sure enough. Max Lance, discard two, dealing 250 damage for the knockout. Zashian V also goes to the Lost Zone, thanks to that Lost City. But now Andy can do stuff. He didn't get a Curlia, knocks out last turn. You have that Mew in the active, and there's that rare candy to that Gardevoir. Hmm. This is why the Lost City is so beneficial, as this takes away a huge potential knockout that Andy could reach for. Of course, it's nine psychic energies. It's a lot, <laughs> but uh, there is always the potential to get lucky. Maybe we could see this with the Shining Arcana, if you can get some energies accelerated that way, but you gotta draw Oof. into the right cards first. And we're, we're, still, uh, we're still pretty young in this game. Couple of battle pass foul. <laughs> and still has not used that Mysterious Tail from Mew. But there's no real item cards that you need. I guess Ultra Ball can go find you that Gardevoir EX. We got a couple of cards to discard thanks to that Battle VIP pass in hand. But only five energy to work with. That is not going to be enough for that big VMAX staring Andy down. Does have a boss's orders in hand though. You could always consider just dealing a little bit of damage trying to clean this Pokemon up later on with a Pokemon like Cresselia. Spread some damage their way and take down those three prize cards. No, Kyle, I want knockouts. Well, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little bit of a problem right here, and it's uh, it's all of these hit points in the active spot. All right, you already did the math, right? How, how much uh, energies do you need to do 220 damage? Well, we're trying to do 320 damage. No, no, we're trying to do 220. Okay, well, if we're doing 220, we need six energies to do, deal 240. Well, I think Andy might have that six energies. Has that boss's orders in hand so he can bring up that origin form Palkia V. And taking a knockout on that does limit a lot of the options David can do. Yeah, no access to Star Portal. That's a good point. We've already seen the one Melanie. There's one more in the deck that could potentially help in accelerating. Yeah, Andy spots it. And I believe, yeah, five in the discard, one on the Gardevoir. And that's going to be 240 damage. More than enough to take the knockout here. Yep. Just got to make sure you sequence everything correctly. But 
And he gets that energy onto the active so you can retreat. Attach for turn to that Gardevoir on the bench. Now you only need the four. Yep, trying to play around Pierce. Yeah. I like it. I mean, you got to think of everything in these situations, so. How, how much damage does Ride of the High King do right now? Quick, do you have that written down too? Enough. A <laughs> hundred? And with that six energy and a little bit of picking up the cards from the sleeves, Andy will have the knockout here. <laughs> These energies are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> A bouquet of Gardevoir taking the knockout there. And what a knockout it was, as this means David needs to have some pretty good cards lined up in order to even attack this turn. Well, lucky for David, he did have the Melanie off of the prize cards. So that second copy of Melanie will be able to allow him to attack if he has an energy in hand. Three cards off the top go along with it. We'd love to see... Maybe another Palkia V, as you could potentially have some energies for the following turns there. But this, this Pokemon could be sticking around for quite a while. 320 hit points. You're looking at nine energies in order to take a knockout. And we've already seen a Gardevoir go down and a Zacian V in the Lost Zone. David Palpads back both of the Melanie, seeing as how there's no Palkia in play. So you're going to need some energy recovery throughout the game. And that is a handful of cards that don't really do much. Ooh, wow. That could be good. Four cards in hand for Andy. One of them was that Luminion V that really could have helped be a bailout button in this situation. There is no guarantee that this path could be countered. What are you talking about? Clap Stadium off the top right here? Don't, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to David. He's been working hard. Finally found an advantageous spot in this game. Well, here's the first and only refinement for Andy this turn. Psychic Energy Cresselia. Cresselia could be a, a good pivot attack. No, no, there's three prizes for David. Yeah, it's, it's rough. We're running into some trouble now. Mysterious Tail. This is a lot of supporters. Where were they? <laughs> I needed you. And this is where having that Ralts prize is pretty unfortunate. Not sure if that was grabbed yet. Don't think it was. So not really much to go on here. It's just going to be next turn's refinement trying to continue to help counter this path to the peak. And, uh, that's, the, that's the window that David needed. Is there any merit to retreating to the Gardevoir EX to take a hit from the Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX? Potentially. Uh, with, the, with the way that the prizes are lined up here, it's, it's unfortunate that if you do uh, bring that Pokemon up, you could always just be knocked out from the Radiant Greninja later on if you see a Max Lance for full effect. So it's not like guaranteed that you avoid the, the prize cards being taken altogether. Hold on. Ultra Ball finds that Gardevoir. You can use Shining Arcana to draw a couple more cards. All right. What does it need to be? more. Stadium Zacian? I mean, just Stadium, honestly, at this point would uh, oh. help open up. Okay. Well, that's what Luminion would find. <laughs> so let's giddy up. With the energy count in the discard. Looks to be eight, so you can discard the other one, go to nine. You could also do attach for the turn to be active and have that ready to go. Doesn't really matter how much damage is on the Zacian V. So just boss's orders going back in the deck with Palpat, it seems like, and he's still debating on the next card, but. I don't know if Penny is going to be too good later on in this game right now. Yeah, we're, we're trying to make sure there isn't a later on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a turn, uh, two-turn window. If the 
Professor's research is able to find the right cards. Number one is going to be that Stadium. Stadium and Zacian. Found the Zacian already. Can he find that collapsed more Stadium? Card. It is not found. A bunch of energies and a couple supporters for next turn. And he doesn't have that path to the peak bump. Yeah, we can take a look at just how close they were. Collapse Stadium was one of the last two cards there. And David has the boss's orders in hand. That's tough. That's going to most likely target down that Gardevoir, take away Annie's draw power for the next turn. And there is just a pass. David has an opening here to pretty much seal up this game, hopefully. Need to work quick. 13 minutes left on the clock. If you are thinking about any potential game three, probably need to finish this game in the next three minutes. And boss's order is going to target down this Gardevoir. How's that for quick, Kyle? I like it. Take the prize cards, keep it moving. No Palkia down, though. And this is a really strong oh, spot. Wow. Worker drawn off the top of the deck for Andy here. That is going to be his bump for the stadium. And honestly, should have it all, right? Has that Zacian, can take the knockout. Will just be one prize card away from taking up this game. And I mean, what do you attack with if you're David? <laughs> there's, Minion. There's, there's <laughs> nothing going on on the board right now. And really needed this Pokemon to hang around for an additional turn. But the massive deck left for Andy. <laughs> Not so much. And just playing everything to thin it out as much as possible. Don't want to draw into those cards that don't get anything anyway at this stage of the game. And even Mysterious Tail. Plenty of energy is lined up here. Start to accelerate. Lines up for some Cresselia plays. Oh, Target well. down one of those Bidoof. Knock that out. Leave this Pokemon in the active spot. Bidoof's ability prevents bench damage counter or damage from happening, but this is damage counters. And Cresselia taking the knockout on a Bidoof. Yep, this means that the three prize cards are still going to be in the active. You don't risk having all of those energies down on the Zacian V, potentially to be knocked out really early by what any Pokemon that if I can find an energy. Pierce could maybe even get the job done at that stage, but Melanie probably going to be the crucial find here, if any. But looks like it's just Roxanne. Roxanne is pretty good here, though. Andy doesn't have any way to just draw through the deck. No Gardevoir, no Curlia's in play. Looked like there were some choice belts there in the hand. Would have loved to see those just played down. Listen, David's deck is too big anyway. I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're not going to play to our outs. <laughs> Who cares? Well, this means that you're not going to see the knockout this turn. Can't get the multiple energies accelerated without that Palkia. But you could line up for some potential strong plays to close out. You find this Palkia this turn, maybe? I would have loved to see maybe Andy bench the Zashi and V last turn. But here we do see an Ultra Ball. We're finally going to see that Orchard form Palkia V yet again. We already see that V-Star in hand. But it is going to be a struggle for David to take these last two prize cards. Yeah, just trying to cross the finish line at this point. Beaver will going to try to help out. Seems like he tripped. <laughs> Need some help. I mean, you, you start to think about ways to close out in this game in a two-turn window, including this turn. And I, I don't see it anymore. With Manaphy there, you can't really get the damage spread rolling. Not going to knock out that Gardevoir EX in one hit. So this means that you're going to have to 
take the Cresselia knockout next turn and then try to target down any Pokemon to close out in this situation. That means you're going to give Andy a few more turns to top deck out of this situation. Has four Seal Stone, but no V Pokemon to use it. Collapse Stadium, but no path to bump. At, of the resources left, was there a way to Mysterious Tail into the Zacian? Uh, there was if Andy kept a Fog Crystal, but I think he used it. All right. Oh, <laughs> let's get aggressive. <laughs> Cresselia going to line up some damage. Lunar Blast for 110 damage, not 160 damage. Wow. <laughs> That's a powerful Cresselia. Cresselia has been going to the gym. Okay. The yep. Poke Gym. <laughs> Now, that is going to be a little short of Gardevoir being able to potentially close things out. So still looking for the Zacian on the following turn. If there is another path, that could be crucial. But this is another missed turn of attacking. Irida means there's no Melanie. No, there's the Origin Form Palkia Oh, Fisa good. Right okay, there. good. I, I haven't seen it in five turns, Jeremy. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that does help out a lot as a... Uh, been looking for that star portal for quite some time. Irida will fetch the switch. Hoping to attack with that origin form Palkia V Star. Get that three prizer out of the active spot, out of harm's way. And that would force Andy to try to find a boss's orders again to take the knockout here. Along with, you know, a bunch of other stuff, but. First things first. Starmy B was also grabbed. Yeah. And there is that switch into that origin form Palkia V Star. You can use Star Portal to grab three water energies from your discard and attach them to your water Pokemon any way you like. Yep, at this stage, could even think about getting that energy down onto the Starmie. Like Starmie's your one way to maybe take a, a huge knockout out of somewhere, but just going to be lining up the Max Lance. Hey, there's Choice Belt. Just in time. But that path to the peak is going to be huge. Five cards from that B barrel and its industrious incisors. David doesn't really need much else, so there's just the subspace swell for the knockout. One prize card left, six minutes to go. Oh, Andy trying energy. to avoid a tie. Gonna look for some help with Mysterious Tail. There is the collapse stadium already there. I think it's just all supporters in the deck. Oh, Battle VIP pass. Oh, nice. That is tough. And this is where maybe keeping that Fog Crystal or benching that Zacian could have sealed up the game for Andy. It's been a great Pokemon to have down. There's not much else you can do at this stage other than promote the Gardevoir. Try to hang around for an extra turn. And David discarding the Luminion here. I guess you do lose to a... Well, no, you don't even lose to a boss's orders, but it's an easy Pokemon to get knocked out. Yep. Can't put yourself within range of being knocked out, so go ahead and attack in with the Gardevoir EX. We may have missed 20 damage on the Gardevoir. No, he attached return okay. and then brought it back. And Escape Rope will take the game for David. Just a couple of single prize Pokemon on the bench. And going to a game three, under four minutes to go. <laughs> what are you thinking, Jeremy? Uh, a little over four minutes ago. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking we might get two turns in. Well, for these players, that might be a good thing. Being four and one means that, good, and this being four, one and one, and that just means that you're looking for two more match victories in order to make day two. And <laughs> Andy is just <laughs> looking at his sleeves upside down when we, we desperately need to play some turns of Pokemon. <laughs> Listen, 
These players are just having fun, you know? I respect They get it. to play Pokemon on the weekend. Not a lot of people can say that. That's a win. Well, it's a tie, but... Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely think this is going to be a tie there. Let's see both players try to make something of this, but it has to be a pretty bad start in order to take the, the knockouts and close out on benching your opponent this early. The fabled uh, Manaphy start with six energy in hand. Manaphy pass. Manaphy, Manaphy pass. pass. Well, Andy's hand looks pretty good. Got a battle VIP pass in there, along with the Ralt start. These prize cards won't really matter. Wow, oh. two origin form Palkia V. David does play three, and you only need one. Right. And you're going to get things started off there with the battle VIP pass. It's a card he's been looking for for quite some time. Thankfully, going to mean that you have some additional Pokemon to work with. What, what are you with talking about, Kyle? He found like two of them in that last Mysterious Tale. Oh, just in time. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the Zacian V already in hand, that's going to be pretty so uh, strong, leading to some additional energies in play. Maybe you can threaten some knockouts early on. Got two and a half minutes to work with. It's time to giddy up. All right, I was a little overly optimistic. I think we might just have one turn. <laughs> <laughs> one turn each, I think. All right. Let's Roar get, of the sword. Get that energy accelerated. What can Starmie do? It is, it is a shred attack, right? 50. Yep. I don't think that's going to be enough. <sighs> yeah, it's swift. All right. Yeah. Same thing. Well, David is going to start off this game three. Two minutes left. Nest ball. I mean, there's so much shiny stuff in there, but I think I saw Yurda. Which basically means we're going to see a full setup. There it is. And with that. <laughs> <laughs> Shake my hand, sir. I don't want any more of those. That's true. We've got enough of that in Hartford. That'll be a P pass. Get some additional Pokemon down. Also going to have Origin form at Palkia V Star hanging out in the hand with some energies. Radiant Greninja could draw into some additional cards. And we could see prize cards in turn one of time. Mm. And there is a concealed cards. Draw two more cards. Finds a path to the peak. That could be pretty good here. And it's also just good to pass. No energy for the turn, uh, which is important. We hope I have something like that. Star Portal or Melanie to be able to get those back. And he's going with the, the good old turn two worker. Work, 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 work. Nope. It's not looking the best. There is a rare candy Gardevoir. It's not the right Gardevoir, but who cares? Maybe Shiny Arcana can two energy off help the top. out. There is the Shining Arcana. One time? No times. What are you talking about? There's Curlia. I mean, they're cool, but they're not energies. And it looks like time was called. Andy is zero. Players are saying, all right, well, there, there's not much we could do, right? Yeah. That's just how it goes somehow. There we go. Ways. We're going to see the fist bump locks in the tie for these players here. And that means that both players are going to be looking for two match victories in their next three rounds. Certainly something we could see from both of these players. And uh, although it's not the result we're looking for, it does mean that uh, we could potentially see both these guys in day two. Yeah, uh, they are still in it to win it. And six or four one one is a lot better than four two at this stage of the game. Yes. 
Uh, it is still a lot of bit of work. You, <laughs> what, three rounds left to go? I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be uh, still a lot to get done. And uh, there's a lot of great players out there. I feel like we could see David surprise a lot of people with that deck. As uh, every once in a while, <laughs> they got to read the cards once more, see what's going on. And uh, I mean, 